Learning with Leanne, narration by Cheyenne. Five minute snuggle stories. Donald Duck, Donald's building disaster. One afternoon, Donald Duck was outside working in his garden. Suddenly, he heard a loud rumble of a truck coming from next door. What a racket, he grumbled to himself. Donald walked over to the fence and asked his neighbor what was going on. These workers are setting up my brand new shed, the neighbor exclaimed. Isn't it fabulous? Donald's neighbor was always bragging about the things he owned. Donald looked at his own broken down shed and felt jealous. But then he had an idea. Wait until you see my new shed. Donald didn't have enough money to buy a new shed, but that didn't stop him. I'll just knock down the old shed and build a new one, he declared, and it'll be much better than my pesky neighbors. He changed his clothes, grabbed his tools, and got to work. Donald had no idea that two little chipmunks named Chip and Dale lived inside the shed. When Donald began pulling apart the old boards, the noise woke them up. Oh no, cried Dale as he peeked outside. That duck is tearing down our home. What can we do? wondered Dale. The hammering grew louder and louder as the chipmunks tried to think of a plan. I know, said Chip. We'll break his hammer so he can't get any work done. The chipmunks waited for Donald to take a rest. Then they scurried to his toolbox and pulled out the hammer. Chip and Dale gnawed on the handle until it was almost in two pieces. When they were done, they ran back inside the shed to watch what what happened. Soon Donald returned to finish tearing down the shed. The, he picked up the hammer and started prying a nail from one of the wooden planks. Suddenly, the hammer broke in half. The heavy metal top fell right off and onto Donald's foot. Oh! Donald wailed, jumping around. He hobbled into the house to find a bandage. Our home is saved, cheered Chippendale. But Donald wasn't ready to give up. I'll show that crazy neighbor of mine whose shed is the best, he said, limping back outside. If he couldn't use his hammer, Donald would just need to find a new tool. He rummaged through his toolbox until he found a crowbar. This should do it. Inside, the chipmunks began to worry. Board by board, their home was being destroyed. I don't know if we can stop him, Dale said. We might have to find a new home. No way, insisted Chip. We just need a new plan. Maybe we can use something in the shed to frighten him away, Dale suggested. While Chip kept a lookout, Dale searched for the scariest thing he could find. How about this, Dale said, holding up a spool of thread. Chip laughed. That's not scary. We need something bigger. I've got it, Chip exclaimed. Let's use the lawnmower to chase him away. Chip climbed onto the mower and pulled the starter cord as hard as he could. The machine rumbled to life with a loud vroom, but it just sat there. Maybe we need to give it a push, Dale suggested. Chip gently pushed against the side of the lawnmower. It moved inch by inch until suddenly it zoomed out the door. Right toward Donald, help! Donald yelled, fleeing from the runaway lawnmower. Plants, flowers, and grass were all mowed down as the machine zigzagged across the garden. Donald ran behind the shed, trying to hide from the crazy machine, but the mower smashed right into the wobbly building. It shook and creaked and finally fell apart. When the dust settled, all of that was left of the shed was a pile of planks with two confused chipmunks on top. Our plan didn't work at all, moaned Dale. The lawnmower wasn't supposed to come back. When Donald spotted Chippendale, he f quickly figured out what happened. I'll get you for this, Donald yells at, as the two chipmunks scurried up the tree. Donald stayed by the tree all afternoon, trying everything he could get to the chipmunks to come down. He was still there when his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, came home from school. What are you doing, Uncle Donald? Huey asked. 
those no good pests were trying to stop me from tearing down my shed, Donald exclaimed. But I beat them in the end. If I could just get them down from there, the boys didn't think Chippendale looked like no good pests. In fact, they thought the chipmunks were very cute. The three brothers put their heads together to come up with a plan. Uncle Donald, remember you promised us that we could get a pet? asked Huey. We could keep the chipmunks, exclaimed Dewey. And we promise they won't cause any more trouble, finished Louie. Hmm. Donald thought about their idea, but where would the chipmunks live? We could use the wood from the old shed to build them a new house, Dewey said. A chipmunk house, Donald asked. My neighbor definitely doesn't have one of those. So Donald agreed, and the boys got to work. Before long, Chippendale had a beautiful new home. Donald couldn't wait to tell his neighbor about the new chipmunk house. The boys built it themselves, he said, excitedly. Oh, a chipmunk house? I have one of those put in last week, the neighbor replied. It has four stories and a swimming pool. Donald couldn't believe his neighbor had still outdone him, but the boys didn't care, and neither did Chippendale. They were all too busy playing with their new friends. As Donald watched them having fun, he realized that everything might have turned out all right after all. The End